to my garden and welcome to day 11 in my holidays in the garden series. So today I am actually bringing the garden indoors into my kitchen. I'm planning to get some baking done today particularly baking cookies. I found a couple months ago, I found this fantastic looking recipe for a botanical shortbread cookie, which I just thought was so cute and such a fun thing. And it's been on my list to try, but of course things have been busy. I haven't gotten around to baking, but now I have time. Since it's cold outside, it was raining yesterday. It's time to start baking. So I actually have a cookie exchange planned with my friends for tomorrow. And it's actually a cookies and cocktails party, which makes it even more fun. And I thought that these cookies would be perfect to bring. So I was looking up different flowers that were edible that you could use. I have only purchased violas to use because that's all they had at the garden center really right now. But honeysuckle would be perfect for this cookie, which I have tons of honeysuckle. So it might be a fun uh, cookie to try out with the honeysuckle blossoms on top. You can do rose petals, you can do sunflowers, um, you can do nasturtium, there's on and on and on. Lavender, that's another really good one. Uh, so you can kind of adjust these cookies to whatever season or occasion that you're, you're making them for, which I thought was so cute. So I can't vouch for this recipe, I've never tried it before, but I will definitely link it in the description down below and we can all see if the cookies are good. So here's my whole setup I have here. I'll go over the ingredients in just a second, but I wanted to show you all over here, my violas. They are looking so pretty and I'm excited about this because I just have to cut the flowers off and use the flowers and then I can take these whole plants out and I can put them in pots or something for some pretty winter color, which I think will be fantastic. Look at this one here. Isn't that pretty? And then this one. Ooh, I love it. I think that they're gonna be so pretty. I hope this works out. Um, I think it will. I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be really good. Okay, so this is the recipe that I printed out. Again, I will link it in the description down below. It is from, gosh, I don't remember, Pure Wow or something like that. Um, but I did have to double this recipe because this only makes 18 cookies and I need two dozen cookies to take to the cookie exchange. Um, so I'll just, I'll just double it, that'll be fine. So I have four sticks of unsalted butter, two and a half cups of powdered sugar or confectioner sugar, two large egg yolks, so I'm gonna have to divide those, two teaspoons of vanilla, uh, five cups of all-purpose flour, uh, half a tea, or excuse me, a full teaspoon of salt, two large egg whites, I think for egg washing, um, you know, to put the flour on, and then finally super fine sugar just to decorate the top. So I think it should be pretty easy. It's one of those cookies that you roll into a log and then you slice it. Um, yeah, so I think it should be great. So I am gonna have to chill my dough once I roll it into a log. Um, and it says one and a half hours for the original recipe, but since I'm doubling it, I'm probably gonna have to chill it for even longer. So I'll get some gardening stuff done in the meantime. All right, let's get going.
So I've got all the dough rolled up into two inch diameter logs. I'm gonna stick these in the fridge for about two hours. It says only one and a half hours for the original size of the recipe, but I feel like I'm gonna do just a little bit more just to be on the safe side. So I will be back in two hours. We will get to slicing, decorating the flowers, and baking. I think they are so beautiful, you guys. One thing I will say is they don't make a lot. This is two batches, and I'm still a couple cookies short of the two dozen. So I probably cut them in a little too thick of slices, but I didn't want them to be too thin. But it worked out so beautifully. I wanna try one. This is one I wanna try because the flower kinda came apart. But you can see, where's my favorite one? Look at how cute that is. <laughs> Just absolutely love it. So it's fun for it to be the holidays, but can you imagine doing this in the spring? Oh my goodness, I just think that that would be so beautiful. So let me try the taste of them. Mm-hmm, it's a good recipe. <laughs> Okay, I would say overall, this is a total success. I think this is a fantastic recipe, and I think that it can be changed to whatever season it is, depending on what type of edible flour you use. So I encourage you all to try this. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today.